So I've got all that. I've got my water dye and dishwashing soap in here. Obviously with the dishwashing soap, it foams up a little bit. I'll stir it up a little bit here. And wait for it to uh, simmer. So you can see here, I've got some uh, ACU, like a rifleman's kit here. Um, I am going to, these are actually wet, so they look a little bit more tan or khaki, I guess, in color. But here's an actual dry rifleman's uh, vest, I guess you would call it here. Um, this is pretty clean, so I didn't have to wash yet. So I'm going to stick all that in the water once it's, uh, boiling or simmering a little bit and see how this turns out. All right, so uh, from the the ACU gear that I had, uh, I had extras like a rifleman's kit. Um, this is just a sample of it, but here is what the outcome is of that. It seems, as far as uh, what I'm looking at on the camera here, and the, the um, actual color itself seems to be very close. Uh, you can see a little bit right in this area, there's a little bit of a splotch, but I'm not too concerned about that. I am very happy with the color though. It turned out of an olive greenish color. I uh, even turned the uh, darker colors on that uh, kind of a, a green color as well and I'm happy with that this is what uh, I started out with and uh, you can tell a big difference in the color there so I'm pretty happy with that also on this stuff you can tell uh, or maybe you can't but uh, these buckles they also uh, turned like an olive green as well. And I'm, I'm very happy with that. I didn't really expect that, but these buckles, the zipper and everything turned out an olive green color. Uh, these uh, nylon straps, they f for the most part turned a little green. There's a little bit of gray here and there, like on this zipper, you can still see the grayish color from the original color. But these buckles turned out pretty good. Um, so here's, Here's what those uh, buckles, I don't know if you can tell any difference there or not. There's a little bit of difference there. Actually, the one on the ACU looks more green than the other one, but it's it's actually a reverse. But uh, also, I did these clips. Now, you can see it here. These clips turned out pretty good, too. I actually took them uh, off of my uh, rifleman's vest and just submerge them by themselves in with the gear and they turned out great. I love this color. So that was really the color I was looking for in that. So you can tell in the picture here between the buckle and the canteen pouch, the original ACU and the clips, the difference there. So, uh, and that's the way it is with uh, all these buckles on this gear. It turned out pretty good. So um, pretty happy with that. So. Anyways, if you're planning on doing the ACU camo, uh, this is, you do it in the sand trap color. Now this is the RIT dye, synthetic dye that I'm using. So the color diagram that I used off their website was the sand trap. Uh, not quite an olive, it was more of a, seemed like a brownish mixture of olive, but more green than brown. But uh, that was kind of the color I was looking for. So this is what it comes out as. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching. This is Freeman Roads out.